All right, guys, so we're taking a quick look at the emulator, which has been released for Android Wear, which is Google's new wearable platform. Uh, I've got it installed and up and running, and I, as you can see, I went with the round watch. So you can actually choose square or round. We went round since Motorola's new Moto 360 is going to use round and looks exceptional. Uh, so basically, you'd have to imagine this on a wrist uh, in watch form, wearable form and try to decide if, if the interaction here would work. And that's what we're gonna to try to show you is how the interaction works and let you guys sort of see if Google's on the right track here. Uh, so basically what you start out with is uh, the watch is dimmed out and uh, if I click on it, it will go ahead and light up. So I would imagine that's either going to be initiated with a touch or hopefully some sort of wrist gesture, maybe by just by lifting your wrist up, will light the screen back up. So uh, once you are lit up, you can see there's a clock and then you have this Google button over here. So you can either tap that button uh, once this build becomes official, you know, actually running on a device or the, the uh, it's, this comes out of preview and becomes a, an official API or something. Uh, you could tap that and then talk to it. You can see right here, it says voice action is disabled, uh, but you could, you know, have it do something or you will be able to say, okay, Google, and that will also initiate it. Uh, but when you get a notification, this is what they look like now. And again, this is just a preview so that developers can sort of get their, their UI, their card UI is right and actionable buttons and things like that going. So uh, I have a hangout message here you can see. And basically I get there into my notification by swiping upward. Um, and then you can keep swiping upward and it'll take you into other sort of applications and things like that. So it's a little buggy, but you, you definitely can sort of get the idea here. So let's look at this hangout message and let me sort of swing over. So you can see it, it shows who it's from in the message. And it's also pulling in my Google plus uh, profile image in the background there, blazer chat. So if you swipe to the right, well, I guess I should say swiping up and down is how you navigate between notifications and, and items that are happening, things like that. If you swipe left and right, you get into actionable buttons. Actually, I should say swiping to the right gets you there. If you swipe left, it actually dismisses them. Uh, so Hangouts open, I can swipe over here and all I have so far is to click open. And it, actually, if I click open on this, it will open that on my phone. So Hangouts will then be open on my phone. I'd imagine you'll get reply, things like that. You'll be able to use your voice to sort of dictate to it. Um, if we look at a Gmail message, these are a little bit different. So if we go ahead and swipe over, and actually, if you look down here, you'll see there's four, it's basically showing me there's four pages related to this notification. And on the last one, there was only two because there was the card and then the open button. But with Gmail, you actually have some options. So if we swipe over, assuming I can get it to work. Let's try that again. There we go. Swipe over. You get a delete option, a reply and then open. And if you click reply in the preview, it just opens up and starts replying to an email on your phone. But again, once this becomes official, you would assume you'd be able to sort of voice dictate, or you can go ahead and delete it in case you don't even want to look at the uh, item uh, on your phone at all. Um, and then, yeah, you can swipe to the right and that will dismiss that card. So you can see another app, Trello, which is our content management system. Um, you can also, it shows you, you know, notifications through there. And uh, you can click open and open that notification. And, uh, you know, that's that's basically what you're looking at. I also had a notification earlier in here from Muse. It had a new wallpaper and it showed up in here. And I could sort of see what that wallpaper was, which was pretty cool. Um, I got a call earlier. Nothing happened. But again, this is just a preview. So uh, we can go ahead and swipe that away. And that takes you back to your home screen. So that's just kind of a quick look at how you interact within the UI. Now just imagine yourself using a finger to swipe between these cards and things like that. And also keep in mind that the voice dictation part is gonna be a big deal in there. Uh, but that's just how it works. You get a notification and it pops up right through your device and you can act on it from there. So uh, if you've got questions or want us to check anything else out, let us know. We're Droid Life, peace.